It's this week's recommended Blender downloads. Toasty! Let's go. Alright guys, how's it going? I hope you're doing very well. It's came to that time of the week again where I scour the internet looking for the best downloads for your downloading pleasure. As always, please support third party developers and artists. Now I have a lot to get through this week so let's just quickly dive into this. And this is called the VF Blender Driver Functions. Now this is pretty damn fresh to be honest, it was released 12 hours ago. And one of the reasons that it was actually made is the user comes from a Lightwave background. Now in Lightwave we have a thing called the Follower Channel. So this kind of gives some of this functionality that's missing inside of Blender. And it kind of tarts it up a little bit and you can do very nice things using wiggles, using expressions. It's pretty deep, you need to read it, find out how it works, but I recommend you do check it out. So let's move it over to the next one, and this is called Anim Extras. Now this is pretty difficult for me to say in one sentence, you do not know how many takes I've just said this, so Anim Extras is an add-on for Blender that adds ease of use <laughs> for animations using Onion. Ah, fucked it up! <laughs> I'll keep that in, forget it. It's a nice onion skinning technique, and it's pretty cool to be honest, this developer's pretty good. Some of the features include dedicated panel, easy clear update skinning, four preview modes per frame, per frame step, direct keys, and in between. So if you ever do character animation, something like onion skinning is definitely recommended. I think this just re recently received an update and which is why it's back in my radar. Let's quickly move it over to Blender Artist and this is called Fastloop version 00.8. What is Fastloop? Fastloop makes interesting new loops easy with the ability to preview the loops before actually inserting them so it's just a very nice kind of update to the loop tool. Might be worth checking that out if you're a modeler. Next one up is an experimental script and it's called The Middleman. Over a bit of time I was able to piece together a script that allows MIDI driven animation. So essentially the audio drives the animation. So if you're into your audio, might be worth checking that one out again. Now, I did get a request from a user and I says I don't think this is possible in Blender. It is now and this is called Lattice Magic. What it essentially does is it gives you a lattice for the camera which means you can manipulate the mesh inside of the camera view and I'm glad this is now an add-on. Let's move it over to Sanctus, and Sanctus just recently updated his 350 sci-fi decals. So this works with decals machine, they're also good just to kind of use inside of Photoshop, but a huge collection. And I'm going to just quickly keep it on Sanctus at the moment, and he's made a procedural condensation drops and shaders. Thank you very much Sanctus, you're doing amazing work, keep it up. Let's move it quickly over to GitHub. Now this is not a new add-on by any stretch of the imagination, but it kind of refers back to my very first add-on that I reviewed, and this is called Commotion. So if you want to kind of offset animations, check this one out, it's pretty damn good, and there's plenty of tutorials. Let's move it over to Vex. This is called Astra's Toolbox. Astra's Toolbox is a collection of Blender 3D shader node groups designed to help shader artists might be worth checking that out and it is available for free as well. And kind of keeping it in the same hemisphere as people on the Discord, let's move it over to Yetus and this is called the Prince Nodes and it's an HQ screenshots for node trees. So essentially what it does is it gives you a screenshot of your node tree and it's pretty high detailed and the file sizes are pretty big, just keep that in mind as well. So if you want to print out your node trees, this might be the add-on for you. And this is my commercial add-on of the week. I do not make any money from this, I'm not affiliated, it's just one thing that I've seen I thought that's pretty good to be honest. And this is called Freeze Transform, a Blender 3D add-on that allows you to save the current object transformation, move, rotate, etc. And then easily return to it back in the save position. So what you can do is you can save your transformation, go and do something and quickly jump back to it. Now I think there may be a couple of free alternatives, but I think at the moment this is five bucks. It's probably worth the investment, especially if you're into your animation. So let's quickly move it over to my Sketchfab download of the week. And it's the free Honda E detailed interior. So you get this really nice model plus the interior as well. And just wrapping it up. Over in Texture Haven, it's the Medieval Blocks 05, and just to give everybody a bit of satisfaction, it's the Snowy Fields from HDRI Haven, a very nice HDRI map. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, I do this weekly. Follow me on Twitter if you want to get in contact, you know what to do. Take care. Oh, I cannot pronounce certain words. Ease of use. Ease.